Hello people of YouTube, this is I Love Nintendo 1999 and I am back to make some more videos this summer. Sorry that there hasn't been some regular videos posted about Nintendo stuff, but I've been kind of busy. So today I'm going to do something kind of special. Today I'll be reviewing the Game Boy Micro. Let's get started. Now once in the ancient year of 2001, Nintendo brought us the Game Boy Advance, an advanced Game Boy. So advanced that it doesn't use a backlight. They fixed that mistake in 2002 with the Game Boy Advance SP. This has been a step in the right direction, but what if a Game Boy Advance used a mini mushroom? This would be the result. A Game Boy Micro. Now let's take a look at the console itself. I have the Famicom Edition, and this is one of the harder ones to find. Fortunately, I found it at a yard sale for a pretty good price. And it's a very nice looking console, has a nice feel to it, buttons work and everything. However, there are some cons with it. You can't play Game Boy Color or original Game Boy games. They kind of got obsolete at the time since this was released in 2005. But it would still have been a nice addition, considering that this went at $99 while the Game Boy Advance SP went around $70 or $80. That's kind of silly if you ask me. It also can't hook up to a GameCube or use a lot of the accessories like the e-reader if you had one. So that's a con with it. But how is it for playing Game Boy Advance games? That's the most important part of a game console, how they play. So, let's take a look. Now this has a very nice backlit screen. This is probably one of the best Game Boy Advance games, even though it wasn't originally for Game Boy Advance. Very good game. I love Super Mario Bros. 3. So, they play very well on this. The screen is so bright and so nice, you can't even see it on camera that well. Anyways, you've probably seen some gameplay footage of Super Mario Bros. 3. So, let's take a look at the size. They call this micro for a reason, because it is very small. If you have an NES controller, that's about how big it is. But if you don't, let's do some comparison. So it's roughly as big as an iPod 4th generation. However, the screen is a lot smaller. It's about as long as a Twinkie. And it's about as big as a hamster. If only the hamster could play it. And this is it compared to an original Game Boy Advance. It is tiny. But Hamster still can't play it. However, it's kind of hard to imagine how they would advertise this. Okay, maybe let's not. Time to go back to your cage. That's a question that should remain unanswered. So, I've addressed all the pros and cons with this. However, the cons are it can't play Game Boy Color, Game Boy Original Games, and it can't hook up to a GameCube or use an e-reader, if you have one. And the size is really nice. The screen can be a little small, but I have no problem seeing it. So, my final verdict on this is, it's a very nice Game Boy to have, but I think the SP is more practical, because it can play all the Game Boy games from any console in the Game Boy line. If you get the one with the backlight, that's even better. Now the problem is with this, it didn't sell well. As great of a console as it is, it didn't sell well. Probably because of this beast releasing at the time. This is a Nintendo DS, obviously. Just look at the size difference. This came out in 2004, this came out in 2005. People lost interest in the Game Boy Advance at that time because a DS was a hot new console. You don't hear many people talking about DS games anymore, do you, with the release of the 3DS? 
So it didn't sell well, only 2.2 million copies were sold of this. And as I said, this is absolutely great for playing Game Boy Advance games. The design is beautiful, especially the one I have, because I really like the Famicom colors. The screen is bright, nice, easy to play in the dark. So I have to rate this a good solid 8 out of 10. If you find this at a good deal, like $40 or under, I'd say pick it up. It's a very nice console. Anyways... This is a Game Boy Micro, it's a very good console, if you can get one for a decent price, pick it up. And these are going for $150, so if you find the Famicom one for a good price, be sure to pick it up. Anyways, thanks for watching.